Hello people! So today's video is going to be a long lasting makeup routine. So I'm pretty sure I've done one of these videos before but this one is going to be using all affordable or products you can get from the drugstore. So these are just the really good ones. I've also done a flashback test with like the foundation, the powder and all that stuff and we have passed. So if you'd like to see how I created this look and also what products I use to create this long lasting affordable makeup look then be sure to give the video a thumbs up and just keep watching. But this video is just pretty much going to be based on all the face makeup because I feel like when it comes to eyeshadow, shadows are long lasting depending on what primer you use, if you use a primer, concealer, that kind of thing. So I thought I would just kind of skip the eyes. But as far as primers go for being long lasting and affordable, I don't have that many face primers that are affordable end of. I did used to really love this is the e.l.f. prep and hydrate balm it's just this it's like a little looks like a glue stick and you just roll it up and then kind of paint it on your face and it's it does go very tacky that's something that i do remember about the product and i did really used to like it it does hydrate the skin i feel and it's quite cooling as well so i feel like this is really really good in the summer and with this primer i always feel like tapping it in is kind of the best way because obviously it's a stick formula it's not like it's not like a liquid where you can just kind of blend it in I feel like tapping it is just the best way as far as foundation goes the most long-lasting affordable foundation easily this guy here this is the Maybelline super safe full coverage 24-hour foundation I'm using the shade 36 warm Sun okay, and then when it comes to applying foundation to be fair I've been doing this for a few months now and I'm just kind of used to it this is almost empty but I've been wetting my sponge no matter what sponge I use I wet it with either a primer water or a setting spray and I don't know I don't know if it's just psychologically I think that my makeup applies better and it lasts longer but just what I've been doing and I really really like it and I'm happy with how everything goes when I do it so this is just the revolution aqua priming base I just I just use it to wet my sponge. I haven't actually tried wearing this foundation when I've had my currently dry skin like I've got at the moment. I'm hoping it's not going to cling to... I've had dry patches like literally just on one side of my face. It's been really weird. I've had it on this side and just like under my lip here. Just, just on my left side and it's really weird. My right side is completely fine and it's not dry whatsoever. I don't know. So, Picking out a concealer for being really long lasting and being affordable was such an easy choice. I'm going to be taking the collection Lasting Perfection Concealer. This is just a really great concealer. I've talked about this so many times and it's just, it never does me wrong. I find that adding concealer to my chin, I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's because like I lean on my face, but around my nose and my chin, I always find that foundation comes off around those two parts the quickest. So I feel like if you want any makeup to, and obviously I don't know if that's just me, but if it's anyone else as well, I feel like adding just either extra foundation or concealer on top of those areas is obviously gonna help it to last a bit longer because you've obviously got an extra layer of something on there. But as far as setting the face and like powders go, I feel like when it comes to like making it last, I feel like it's kind of different for every individual person because some people have drier skin, some people have oily skin, so they want, you know, more powder packed on there. I'm kind of in the middle because I get oily here and sometimes between my brows, but then foundation clings in between my brows and I've also had dry patches and dry skin at the minute. So I've got a tricky situation going on. So I feel like when it comes to powder, just use whatever powder you know works for you. Some favourite affordable powders that I love are Chi Derma Blend Loose Powder, that is a translucent powder. The Colourpop No Filter Setting Powder is also a good one. What I've been testing out recently that I've just got is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder. And they don't have like translucent, well I don't think they do, but I've got the shade 20 which is light medium and it's been working for me just fine and I really like this powder it's not too it doesn't it doesn't go cakey or drying whatsoever it just smooths out the under eyes so much that i just noticed how nice my under eyes look using it once and i was like i have a cream product to use 
So we're just gonna hold off with the powder for a sec. So before I do, uh, before I powder my under eyes and my face and all that, I'm just gonna use a cream contour. So when it comes to making makeup last a lot longer, I do find that when you do your bronzer, I feel like putting a cream underneath always helps to make the powder last longer because the powder then sticks to the cream, obviously. So I'm gonna be taking the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer, obviously, and I've got the shade Toast. I haven't used this in a long time because I have just been like obsessed with my Suzanne Jackson cream contour. Okay, I just did a flashback test just to check. So obviously the foundation, the concealer, the powder, we have no flashback. So all of those three, they are approved for a night out. Going on to bronzer, I think. I'm just gonna set down that cream and just bronze up the skin a tiny bit more with the Colourpop um, bronzer. This is the Topaz like little duo palette. I'm just gonna take the bronzer shade here. Blush, I'm gonna be taking the H&M Blush in Taupe Brown. The eyeliners go. Obviously my Glide On gel liners from LA Girl, they are like my favorite Just forever. They glide on so nicely, hence the name of them. But these ones are also really good as well. These are the LA Girl Endless Semi-Permanent Auto Lip Liners. Did I just say lip liner? I meant eyeliner. <laughs> so this is just a black one I'm gonna use just to tight line with, and then I'm just gonna pop some on my waterline as well. And then for mascara, obviously it doesn't matter which mascara you use, but I'm just gonna take the Maybelline Big Shot Colossal Mascara. Like, oh my god, like Maybelline do the best mascaras at the drugstore, because oh my god, I love this. Face, so for highlight, I'm gonna be taking the Lottie London Shimmer Squad Highlighting Palette, and I'm just gonna take the shade The Good Girl, which is this shade here, it's just a bit peachy. So for long lasting lips, I'm not going to go in with a lip liner because I'm using a liquid lipstick but if I was going to use a affordable long lasting lip liner, I would definitely highly recommend the LA Girl Perfect Precision Lip Liners, they're my favourites, my holy grails. For the liquid lipstick, I'm going to go in with the Rimmel Stay Matte Liquid Lip Colour and this one is in the shade Scandalous, it's just a dark brown, I have a nude, I have a red. I felt like going brown today. So just stick down, they dry down matte, transfer or anything like that once they've dried obviously. And yeah, I've just, I've worn these so many times and I've talked about them a lot as well. But yeah, these are like my favourite liquid lips that you can get at the drugstore. Definitely one of my favourites. I love them. Almost forgot setting spray. Like I feel like that's pretty much one of the most important things of this entire video and I almost forgot it. So obviously the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray is like one of my favourite sprays just ever and it's kind of affordable-ish but one that's even more cheaper and that I do think is so great is the e.l.f. Makeup Mist and Set. This has a great spray and it's such a good setting spray. I do genuinely, genuinely believe that this works as well. I love this. So. so that is the end of today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and maybe learned a few things and a few tips and tricks for making your makeup last longer. So if you did enjoy the video then be sure to give it a thumbs up and also leave me a comment down below letting me know. You're subscribed as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye!